Hi again, so recently I thought using an Arduino for basic and simple tasks is kind of a waste. The Arduino Pro Mini has 14 digital pins with 6 pins capable of doing PWM, 8 analog pins, and a pair of serial pins. Clocked at 16MHz with an Atmega 328P, this thing is definitely an overkill device. And so I decided to buy this FUMOS 8085 thing and in this video I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step explanation on how to program this thing with your Arduino and create a programming shield. I'm gonna program the 80 with an Arduino Pro Mini 5V and create a shield for it. So first, the 80 Tiny. The 80 Tiny has 8 pins, pin number 1 is reset, pin number 2 is analog 2 IO3, pin number 3 is analog 3 IO4, pin number 4 is ground. Pin number 5 is digital 0, IO0, IRF and MOSI. Pin number 6 is digital 1, IO1, MISO. Pin 7 is analog 1, IO2, SEK pin. And last pin 8 is VCC. For the wiring, ground Arduino to ground ATI tiny, VCC of the Arduino to the VCC of the ATI tiny, pin 13 to SEK or IO2. Pin 12 to MISO or IO1, pin 11 to MOSE or IO0, pin 10 to the reset pin. And don't forget to put a 10 microfarad capacitor between reset and ground. In this video, I'm gonna use the AT Tiny to turn an LED on and off, or you could call this thing blink. So let's take this thing aside. and take your breadboard so you put your component on a breadboard the Arduino then you can put the AT Tiny, your LED then your capacitor 10 microfarad then your wires for uploading sketch you should put the LED out first and connect your computer go to the Arduino CC and download the Arduino IDE 1.6x if you haven't then go to the links in the description, highlowtech.org, which gives a super useful instruction. You can follow it there. And this instruction is always up to date, so no worry. So in the Arduino preferences, copy the link from the website, then paste it, click OK. Now in the boards manager, you should see some IT tiny board, click it there and install. Once you're done, you should see some new boards on your Arduino boards. Now open the Arduino ISP sketch on the new on the example, choose your Arduino board, upload it. Now open the blink sketch, change print 13 to pin 0, then in tools, select the IT Tiny 85 board and set it to 8 MHz Arduino ISP and upload. You should see the Arduino blinking fast, then done uploading, so you're basically done here. Now I connect my power supply set to 5V to the VCC and ground pin, and then connect my LED, LED pin between IO0 and ground, and the LED is blinking like it should do. Now all that's left to do is to move the breadboard to a perf board. So that uh, for that I'm using a really good perf board, then take an IC socket and some female headers, then solder them on with the connection just like before. So I start placing the component as close as possible, then start by the IC socket, then female headers, then I did the wiring as good as possible. Last, I place the capacitor. Then. I cut the board with a gigantic scissor. You have to be careful here not to break any connection you already soldered because it's a pain in the ass. And after it's done, I'm pretty much happy with the quality I got. Now I'm gonna test this thing before finishing this video. Here, now I uploaded the code. Then if I put the LED between pin 0 and ground, it should blink just like before on the breadboard. And there it is, it's blinking. Ah, great. So after programming, you can take the Arduino out from the shield. Then there's this AT Tiny, Tiny AT Tiny. Take it out and you're ready to go. You can place it on your projects or, or whatever you want them to be. The bad thing is I bought this thing for 4 bucks original, well the counterfeit for 1.5 bucks, 1.63 exactly. And my Arduino Pro Mini costs just 4.5 dollar for the original and 2 dollar for the, for the counterfeit, 1.8 exactly. So this Arduino thingy really is better, half the price, double the function, so better. <laughs> I thought. But if you have a small space and wanted to make a per permanent product to sell or you buy this thing like 15 pieces or so, this thing is for you. So, if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, just like it to support me. <laughs>
consider liking the subscribe button, clicking the subscribe button for more upcoming video. Critics, comments, questions are all warmly welcomed. That's all for today. Hope I'll see you next time.